हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर सोलविंग प्रॉब्लम सी विच इज फाइंड बी अरे ए ऑफ लेंथ एम इज गुड इफ देर एक्जिस्ट एन अरे बी ऑफ लेंथ एम सच देट द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन आर होल्ड फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज देट द समेसन ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट ऑफ ए आई मस्ट बी इक्वल टू समेसन ऑफ ऑफ ऑल एलिमेंट ऑफ बी आई एंड ए आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी आई फॉर एवरी इंडेक्स एंड बी आई मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो means we need to choose array b which all element must be greater than 0 right and uh, you are given array c of length n and each element of this array is greater than 0 okay we need to output q query right during i query we need to determine whether the sub array cl to cr is good or not right so this sub array we can consider as a, a and we need to find corresponding array b such that if this condition are hold so we output yes otherwise we output no right let's see the input so first test first line contain number of test cases which is less than 10 to the power 4 and then we are given two integer n and q right n is the size of the array c and q is the number of query then we are given element of the array c and after that for each query we are given two integer l i and a, r i means starting starting sub array c index and ending sub array c index right and for this sub array we need to determine whether there exists a array b such that the this condition are hold okay and here sum of n over all test cases does not exit 3 into 10 raised to power 5 right and the time limit is 3 second so we can see that the in one second there are 10 to the power 7 operation at max we can do right so into 3 right there are 3 second so it's nearly equal to 10 raised to 7 operation we can do in 3 seconds but here <coughs> we need to so from this we can conclude that we need to design solution such that it must run into log n or less than log n time complexity okay so for each query we need to output yes if sub array is good otherwise no so let's see the test case so in this test we are given a query 1 to 5 right so here is the array c and l equal to 1 and r equal to 5 so summation of ci to cj is equal to 13 right so we need to find array b such that the summation of b must be same equal to summation of a and uh, a is not equal to bj okay so what we can think so there are two one right here and here so we can, here and here we must put element which is greater than 1 okay because le less than zero element are not allowed right or equal to 0 is also not allowed so minimum here we must we can put is element equal to 2 2 okay we can also put 3 4 okay but uh, let's say we put 2 and 2 here so now a uh, remaining sum is equal to how much is equal to 9 right so for this three block we can put anything yeah right because here we can put also but we not we don't need to put here two right so here we can also put 1 1 1 1 yeah but its sum is not equal to 9 sum is not equal to 9 let's say we put here 1 1 1 right so re remaining sum is equal to remaining sum is equal to 6 so what we can do we can increase this we can put this 6 into here right 2 plus 6 so the sub array is equal to 2 1 8 1 1 right there are many sub array possible but this this one is also possible okay so let's see for the second query which is 4 4 so here is l i equal to 4 r i equal to 4 which is this fourth element right so we need to output array b which length is must length must be 1 and sum sum must be equal to 4 right 
and a i is not equal to b i but here we can we have only one choice to put b right so here a i is equal to b i so we can say that the, there is no exist or a b right so let's see the third cases which is 3 4 so array c 3 4 right okay so 1 4 so we need to find array b which sum must be equal to 5 right and here we can't put 1 and here we can't put 4 right so what we can think right if here we can put 2 3 any any element right 2 3 any element and here here we can't put 4, four only right so the easiest way is that we, we put here 1 and remaining all sum is there right so we can put here 4 right so this satisfy we can also put here 2 and uh, remaining 3 is here right but the easiest way is this right so we output yes let's see the last query here li equal to 1 and ri equal to 3 so this one sub array right 1 2 3 so we need to output sub array we need to output array b which sum must be equal to 4 right so what we can think is that uh, here we can put anything 2 3 anything right and here we can put 1 3 anything and here we can put 2 3 anything okay so what we can do is we put here 1 and remaining sum is now remaining sum is equal to 3 right so we we can put anything we can put here 2 let's say i put here 2 so remaining sum equal to now remaining sum equal to 1 so we need to put tier 1 right so which, which while in the constraint right let's let's try another combination right so what we can do 1 to 1 is the sub array of sub array of here right so here is one we need to strictly put here 2 or anything 2 3 or anything right let's say i put 2 here and 2 here right but sum equal to 4 so i i need to put here 0 but 0 violate the constraint right so for this there doesn't exist answer right so let's see the observation right we try to put one which element is not one and remaining sum we try to put at element one what is meaning of the let's see right let's say we have array c equal to one 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 two four and we are given query one two five right so we need to output array b right which has five element and sum must be equal to four five six seven eight nine right sum must be equal to Oh, 9 right 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so what we can do we put 1 which element is not equal to 1 right so I put here 1 I put here 1 now what is remaining sum remaining sum equal to 7 so we can put here 7 it is possible yeah we can put I put here 2 I put here 2 and here I put 3 okay I can put here put here 3 2 2 is also possible right so we can output yes in this scenario but what if we have c equal to 1 1 1 and 2 2 so the summation is equal to 4 5 6 7 right so we need to find our a b with sum equal to 7 and there must be 5 element right so first we put one which element is not equal to one right so i put here one and i put here one okay so remaining sum equal to remaining sum equal to five so i put here two i put here two i put here two so it exceed right right it is equal to six and we have only five so this arrangement not exist i must need to put here one right so these element are same right we can see that that's why this summary is not possible okay
i hope you are understanding what we are doing we are try to put minimum element here right so remaining sum must be fit here right okay if it is possible we are output yes we are, otherwise we are output no if c equal to let's say 1 1 1 2 3 right so we can say the summation must be 3 4 5 6 7 right so we need to output five element so we can put here one one right in best case we can put here one right now remaining sum equal to 6 can we put here 6 yes we can put 6 2 2 2 right so this arrangement is possible right so what we can see here, what we can observe from this test case is that some must be number of ones number of ones into 2 right into 2 plus remaining element because we are putting one at remaining element and two right two at one right two at one right so remaining element right which is equal to n minus number of ones right n minus number of ones okay but what if the sum exceed then this if sum exceed let's say this test case uh, uh, let's say we have 1 1 2 and 4 right so the sum equal to 4 5 6 7 8 and from above formula we can get the sum required is equal to what 2 into 2 into number of ones which is 2 right plus remaining element which are 2 2 into 1 because we are putting 1 there right so it is 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 right so what we can do is that we are putting 1 1 here but the remaining thing sum is right this subtraction is equal to 2 so what we are doing we are putting here 1 1 right so there are two left so i can add at to at f1 right so i can put here 2 is also fine right okay so let's see the algorithm so we are doing prefix sum of c because in each query we are given lnr sub array of c so that's why we are doing prefix sum of c and we are also doing prefix sum of number of count of one right and what we need to check is that count of one into two because we are at place one we are putting two and the remaining what is remaining remaining element right remaining element which is equal to n minus count of 1 right n minus count of 1 n minus count of 1 which is if less than sum we are outputting yes otherwise we are outputting no okay so let's see the code part first i take the size of the array and q queries right and uh, here i use the vector and i take the input of vector and here i use two vector prefix and one prefix for saving prefix sum of vector v and one for saving how many ones are occurred right so first i initialize count equal to 0 and for saving sum i use x equal to 0 and then i do prefix sum for both vectors and for each query if r equal to equal to l means if there there is only one element in sub array so we need to output no otherwise i will calculate the sum of l to r right which is equal to prefix of r minus prefix of prefix of l minus 1 because here i am using one base indexing so i use l minus 1 and for same i use find out the ones count we know that the total element is equal to this and so remaining element in which one is not there these many this and i make the formula which is i saw on your right count 1 into 2 plus remaining less than equal to sum we are outputting yes otherwise we are outputting no that's all thank you if you like my solution please hit the like button and share with your friend keep coding